Yeah, know. it couldn't have been there. Yeah. A block from, from the so, family farm. The reason we know about Walter at all is because after he died, his widow uh, sued his girlfriend uh, okay. over his estate. What happened with Walter is Walter uh, had originally befriended a nurse. That devil. Who was uh, from Vienna. Had, was graduate of the University of Vienna Medical School. Had come to the U.S. as an emigre. You know those Viennese. Worked as a, yeah, worked as a nurse and then became... A, a partner in his practice. Originally started, they just befriended him, and later on, she, they had just, she became a partner in his wow. practice. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. she's a doctor. Yeah, okay. she's a, doc oh, she's another she's surgeon. a doctor. Yeah. 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 She's another surgeon. Oh, my God. And the kind of practice... Maybe she did it. Maybe she helped. <laughs> the kind of practice Walter Bailey does is he does mastectomies, hysterectomies, ah, and the surgical ah, ah, removal ah, of fat okay. before liposuction they would go in. That's what he was in doing. In 19... Yeah. 40, 47. Well, that's 47. Well, they were doing it earlier than that. He had walked out on the wife and family for the girlfriend in October of 46. Yeah, that's wild. And, uh, 46. Yeah, October 46. Okay. Right before. Yeah, we're yeah, three months and, away. Yeah. Uh, as I said, died in January of 48. The girlfriend yeah. and the wife start this lawsuit. And what the wife says in the lawsuit over his estate is that he had a secret. And the girlfriend had learned this secret, and he had li lived in terror that she was going to uh, oh, isn't interesting? reveal it because it would ruin him. And every time he wanted to return to his family, she would bring up this secret. This totally secret. Where's, he, where's he living? I spent a lot of time trying to find out where he was living. Every address Nobody he knows. ever used for everything was right down the street. There was a medical office down here. I found his receptionist. I talked to her. She's the one who told me that what, what he and his girlfriend used to like to do of an evening, as they were in the professional building, which was down here on 6th Street, and uh, there was a restaurant on the first floor, and it was dry cleaners restaurant, that kind of thing. They would have their dinner sent up, and he had a movie projector and a screen, and they would put on classical mm. music, and they would eat dinner, and they would watch movies of surgery. Well, sure. That was their entertainment. Oh, hell yeah. That was of an yeah. evening. It's a great That's really. Do. The doctor and his doctor girlfriend, the Viennese woman, for kicks, used to get bombed together watch autopsy films while they that's, blasted that's off on classical good. music. That's, that's strange. That's strange. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that strange or what? My question is, what did the profiler say to you about the cuts here? The breast, and especially about mm -hmm. the tattoo. What did that he, mean? He said, he said that tells me it's personal. He mm -hmm. said this tells me that they spent some time together, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. there was a lot of personal anger sure. directed at her. Sure. And she this did. was, she said something. Yeah. She said no. She, that's the important thing. She <laughs> said, she said <laughs> something. Well, she well, laughed. Said, she said she said, made fun of him, or yeah, she laughed yeah, at him, well, or you something. Said, you said she was yeah. a It was teaser, personal. Basically, yeah. Right? Yeah. It was personal. It was personal. Right. The, the yeah. important thing here is, yeah. 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 it was personal. Yeah. If you got this kind of anger, it isn't just, no, I'm not going to sleep with you. This is something deeper. Oh, sure. This is this is something that's really got to keep the w the way it was explained to me the, to keep the rage going long enough to cut yeah. her in half to mutilate her. You know, you got to do it as. Apparently, you have to drain the blood from somebody as soon as they're killed. It's like dressing beef or, or you know, game where you got to do it right away. But to, do, to the time that it takes, you've got to keep the anger going. So it's like, okay, what could it be? What could it be? You look at a guy like this and you say, okay, here's a doctor. He's gone to medical school. His oath is to save lives. If this is the guy, what could possibly make a human being do this? Well, what do we know about Elizabeth Short? How did she get money? She had a sob story, okay? This is how her sob story went. Well, the truth was her fiancé was killed in the war. That was true. He killed himself, but he was... Yeah. Well, he got promoted to husband got killed in the war. Oh, cool. But there were a lot of women whose husbands got killed in the war. So the story gets better. They had a kid that she had to give up. And in the final version of this sob story that she would tell people, her husband was killed in the war. They had a son who died. So... What do we know about Walter Bailey? One thing we know about Walter Bailey is he had a son named Walter. Okay. What we know about Walter is that he was killed in a car accident down on Vermont, where they used to live, down around 43rd. He was riding his bicycle. They, the Baileys actually adopted two girls. The one who signed the wedding certificate was the younger one. There was an older girl. 
In about 1920, she was about two years old. What happened was this little girl was out on the street corner, wanted to cross the street. There was traffic, so this boy, 11 years old, Walter Jr., rides his bicycle over to lead her across the street, run over by a truck, and killed. They take him to Georgia Street Receiving Hospital. Okay, now Walter Bailey is a surgeon. Where is he? He's in surgery. So he's doing his operation. His beloved son, and he really was, in the interviews later on, this was the center of his yeah, life, I is dead, been killed in a car accident. He's in the operating room. They don't tell him. Oh, cool. They don't tell him because he's doing. He's in the middle of an operation. They can't tell him. He, fi he wraps it up. The operation's a success. He comes out of the, the operating room. Boom, your son is dead. Mm. He's devastated. As a matter of fact, when you talk to the Bailey family, who I have to say are not real crazy about my theory, uh, as you can imagine, <laughs> they, st they yeah. still have what? They wow. still have they still have the dead son stuff. This is from 1920. They still, really? They still have it. And so what I think, if there was one thing that was going to send Walter Bailey off, it was here is this guy who's devastated about the death of his son. You've got Elizabeth Short with her song and dance to get money, the dead son. Wow. But Walter Bailey, unlike every other pigeon, is a doctor. He's going to ask her, oh. How did he die? Yeah. How did he what die, happens? or what happened, what or happened? about her pregnancy, yes, or something like that? Of course. When did you know? When did he take his first step? Yeah. He figures it out. She gives yeah. she and gives he, him a bull, bullshit story. Right. And he goes, you know what? This isn't a story. It's a leap. Did you yeah. see how much real. Yeah. he's got? Them. My story is real. His her story is right. not real. See. And the other thing is, when is the Walter Jr.'s birthday? Mm -hmm. January thirteenth. Oh my God. Oh. Her 20, body is found on the fifteenth. Oh my God! Oh. So we're right there. That's terrible coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which it makes coincidences. Do they ever put the? Two days from now. Does, uh, I'm going home. I'm locking up. You know, this guy's been taking a lot of ribbing, but uh, you know, the theory is great, and it's just about just about watertight in most you know in most ways. Yeah. There's a lot of coincidences in this story, right? You know, and when you run into coincidences in, in a homicide investigation, you go, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know, yeah. exactly. And, you know and that's and that's what it's made me do. Wait a minute. I, I, think, yeah. you, I think your ballparking is. I think you're in that. Yeah, that he's right there. Yeah, but uh, but the problem is, what? The problem is time. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. See. Now what you have is time is your enemy. 